This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. So today we have an LG washer that um, isn't draining. It leaves about maybe five inches of water right here. So we're going to be putting in a new drain pump. And before we do that, it's good to try to drain out any water that might be in there. So you can open up this little guy, and then that water will just come out. I think this one's already done. <clears throat> Alright, and then you can remove the coin trap. Maybe a little more water will come out. Make sure there's nothing in there. more water came out so you just look in that hole and make sure you don't you see nothing's caught in there looks pretty good you probably just see the uh, rubber but sometimes you find an article of clothing in there and you can reach in that hole to the side and you can feel the impeller you can turn it by hand and sometimes they're hard hard to turn it should turn it should turn a little bit of resistance then easy, then a little bit of resistance then easy. But if there's a lot of resistance, there might be something wrapped around the impeller. So to change it, we're going to remove a couple of screws here. This model, just one screw right here. Phillips head. Move this <coughs> one little Phillips head screw. This whole thing will come out. And there's another Phillips head screw right here I want to remove. That's going to help me get the front panel off. that one open the door we're going to pry off this boot it's pretty easy just use a standard head screwdriver I'm going to pry in underneath the ring pull it towards you it's just spring loaded there's a spring at the bottom six o'clock position that comes off you know, pull the boot loose. That's this is so you can get the front panel off. Just disconnect a few things. If you get the front panel off, it's a lot easier to get to the drain motor. There's, you can get to it though from underneath if you lean this back. There's a section that allows you to do it. It's a little trickier though. <clears throat> so if you have an ability to take off the top if it isn't stacked, that's probably the recommended thing to do. So now we're going to take some screws off the back so we can get this top panel off. I'm just trying to create a little space there. Yeah, these are, when they've never been removed before, they, they, don't, they don't want to budge. Just don't want to chew up the finish. So that, got one corner moving. Just take your time, it'll come loose. There we go, starting to move. Okay, so now I should be able to lift it up. So tight. Hey, hey. You know anything yet? Uh, just, just doing the disassembly still. Oh, okay. It's just stubborn. <laughs> Oh no, I'm good. Yeah, thank you though. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? Okay, Mom. Hey, it's just me. Oops. Take this screw here. Should be able to get the 
this panel off now. Just getting this one loose. Almost off. It just has one more catch right there. We got to get off. There we go. Okay, lift this over. Take out these screws and we can get the front panel off. So we have to disconnect the door switch, which is right here, by pulling down. You can also just zip it out right here. Door switch. Okay, I'm going to lift off the front panel. It's held on by some little clips here at the bottom. You just want to lift up, pull back, and we have better access to the pump. Okay, so we just got out that bolt, and we were using a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. So I'm just pulling out another one of those bolts. It's uh, right, right back in here. That one came out. I think this whole drain assembly should come up now maybe we got one more bolt here let's see oh yeah we got one more right there let's do that one so you guys can see right in there there's the other bolt that's the last one third one get that one out and then we can lift it out now pull this one out A line there. Got it. Unhook this one. These are the uh, leads for the bringing power to the pump. Get those out. Okay. Now the whole thing can come out. Get that out. So you have a little more room off to your right, I think, to get it out. There we go. All right, and this is this little hose. You can bring that out. There we go. The third screw out. You can pull the pump off now. Take a look at it. Looks like we might have one screw still hooked up. Mm. 
A little more in this one. There we go. All right, almost got it out. So we gotta loosen it up a little bit underneath here. So once you get the drain assembly out, you can remove these three Phillips head screws and that'll take the motor off of the valve, uh, off of the drain assembly. So remember, it's the one on the left. The one on the right is the circulation motor. The one on the left is the drain, drain motor. So I'm pulling the drain motor off. Here's the drain impeller. Usually that's the culprit. Usually that impeller is kind of loose on the shaft. But this is the uh, drain housing. And we have the old one here. We're going to pry off this cover because we want to reuse this white cover on the new motor. So we're using a standard head screwdriver to pry it off. And then we'll go ahead and put that on the new motor and we'll add those screws back in. So we're just going to basically uh, go through the same procedure in reverse to get the pump back in. This is the new housing, or this is the housing going over the new the new uh, motor. Then we're going to add the three Phillips head screws to get it into the pump housing, get those nice and tight. And then we can put the whole pump and housing back into the washer. Just going to tighten up those screws. Thanks so much for watching our video, and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance, and give us a thumbs up. If you can subscribe, we can send you more videos on how to repair your home appliances. Thanks again for watching.